Hey guys, what's up? I sack the Tron here from Clash of Clans Manual. Here with my next war recap video, and uh, back in One Hive Genesis, uh, taking a look at our most recent war, and this one is against BC's team. Uh, pretty, uh, you know, a good war. They use most of their attacks, and they mainly just uh, two star our Town Hall 9s, uh, but it looks like in the description they're trying to push and do some three star attacks. So obviously, you know, uh, another clan in the stage of the game that's progressing, uh, probably trying to switch to some more hog attacks because they were mostly go wipe on our Town Hall 9s, uh, but there are a few variations in there and some go laloon and stuff like that, so uh, keep it up and keep improving, but taking a look at some of our attacks, we have uh, Mimo, Memo, uh, it just seems like there's always two ways to say every name, uh, but taking on number three, and this is a nice attack, just dropping down some lightnings and a quake gonna take out I believe the queen and he's gonna get both of these air defenses so watch right there drops the uh, quake and then here come the lightnings three of them takes out two air defenses the queen the inferno uh, just insane value for those uh, spells um, and that right there that just cripples the base uh, but anyway just get the CC learn he's gonna drag that up to the top here um, has his queen just gonna let her work we'll fast forward a little bit I'm just going to kind of let her work up top here and let it shoot down on its own. Uh, pops the ability. Queen's going to be at full health once these go down. So she's going to be taking care of some trash buildings. Meanwhile, to start some with the go laloon part of the attack. Or just the laloon part of the attack, sorry. Nice high value freezes. Just brings two freezes. You can get two air defenses and the inferno tower. So d the lesson learned here with, with base building is don't uh, cluster up. Uh, those air defenses and the infernos and the queen, uh, just too much high value stuff in one area. And the spells really take advantage of that uh, with the lightnings and then with the freezes later. So it uh, doesn't even need to use the king until cleanup. Just drops him down and just has a ton of balloons left. So we'll fast forward. I'm absolutely wrecked it. Nice job. All right, moving along. Let's take a look at, at Town Hall 9. Um, I believe it was... It was their number 10, so uh, Pickle Pants. Um, I believe he's somewhat new to One Hive Genesis, but um, anyway, just starting in with a nice uh, Valk Hog attack, so a, a, a Go Vaho. Um, just dropping two Golems down, that's going to tank for everything. Wizards to back it up. Um, one thing I want to add real quick is I actually did get a new microphone, but it doesn't work uh, for, my, for my, it doesn't attach right to my laptop so I'm gonna have to uh, probably get a different one so I apologize the sound is still a little bit uh, sketchy but I'm still working on that and soon it'll sound a little more normal uh, but just bear with me for these next uh, few videos um, because the sound isn't that great just with the built-in microphone on the computer so I uh, just want to let you guys know the situation on that but should be changing that pretty soon um, one thing I love here is I love using Valks on these quad Teslas and Pickle Pants does a nice job here. Um, if you can get those Valks in the core, basically they'll, they'll just sit there uh, n next to the town hall and just swing. And the swing's going to get like three buildings at once. Uh, it's two Teslas in the town hall. So really in these kind of anti-two-star bases, a lot of times they have the quad Teslas next to the town hall. And if you get just a few Valks in there, they take that down really quickly. Uh, so just remember the, the value of the Valks. Um, the reason they're so powerful at town hall 9 is because... Uh, when they swing, they can take out two buildings at once. Uh, I believe sometimes three. Also, the heroes and stuff, they're great for taking out enemy heroes. Uh, so just valuable troops if you know when to use them and what they're good at. So uh, nice use of them here, and obviously hogs are a great complement. Uh, you need something else, some kind of defensive targeting troop. Uh, in order to finish off the base, Valks can't do it alone, but they're a great part to the attack. All right, last one we're going to look at is a Town Hall 8, which I... Don't show that often, but I'm um, going to show this one. Uh, looking at Sparta, taking on 25. And he's coming in with a Hogler at the bottom. Uh, typical CC kill, we see this a lot. Just dropping a few barbs and wizards behind. Uh, just one barb each, just distracting that uh, dragon. And then the balloon goes down as well. Uh, King just a tank over there. And then I like the balloons here. 
uh, just nice, easy trades, two or three balloons per defense. Um, and that point defense is what hurts the Hogs the most. So taking out, like, what is this, like five of them right off the bat is a huge benefit to his Hogs. Then just comes in from uh, three sides, uh, dropping heals where needed. Obviously, Giant Bomb is going to be in the core, so has those areas pre-healed. And especially at Town Hall 8, those Giant Bombs can do a lot of damage to your Hogs. At Town Hall 9, they take about two-thirds of their health. Whereas at Town Hall 8, I believe they take about three quarters. Um, so if, even if the Hog is taking only a few shots from like a Wizard Tower or something, uh, a Giant Bomb, just a single, can take out a whole group if the Hogs aren't at full health. So make sure you pre-heal uh, where you think the Bombs are going to be because uh, that will help your Hogs stay alive a lot longer. But anyway, plenty of them left over, and that's going to do it for this attack. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, more to come, so I'll see you guys later. Bye, Secretron out.